hello everyone welcome to this lecture and in this lecture i am going to show you how to add windows 7 in your evng so this will be a host which you can use to connect to your internal networks or do some texting and all right so right now what i have done is i have uh, 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 turned on my uh, evng which is running on my uh, vmware workstation and i will go on and log into the gui now the username password is admin and you which is the default i have not changed that once i'm here let me just delete this okay i'll keep this network um, um okay i'll just also delete this and if i right click on my node and if i scroll down to the windows section i see there is windows but this is only windows xp now i want to add windows 7 here right so first thing you need to do is you need to download the image which you can download from um, a url that i'm going to share with you people and uh, and you can just directly go and download the windows 7 uh, ready to use image and that is basically here this one and if i click on this it should start downloading the image if i go to downloads the image is being downloaded right so let's wait for this image to be down uh, i mean downloaded completely and then we'll uh, proceed with the further uh, uh, steps right okay uh, so i'll just uh, uh, pause the video here and uh, come back when the download is complete okay now that the download is completed let's go to the downloads folder now you will have to this is a zip folder so you will have to extract it using the extracting application i have the seven zip so i'll go and extract it here and you will have to wait for this extraction to be completed now uh, this is around 4.1 gigabytes when it's a uh, zip file once this is um, extracted this would uh, increase the size let's see I will just fast forward this using editing and till then you can enjoy the music. Okay, so the extraction is complete. Let's look into the file here. Now again, there's a tar. Right click and again extract this. Then let's extract the tar file inside this. So this is like um, a zipped multiple times um okay now this is complete now let's go on and check this file yeah this is what i want so i'll delete this uh, file now this is the winx uh, win uh, 7 folder and then inside that i have the virtual.qcop file now this is a ready to use image um uh, i mean it's different from what it is uh, mentioned in the how to section of the win uh, the evng if you go in the windows uh, workstation if you go yeah this one this has a different method which i've already done and followed all these steps i mean um, so i've done the hard part now you just have to use the ready-made image which is uh, available from the link to download directly okay so uh, if you want to follow this method as well you have a, a i mean video link here you can watch that from the official evng site uh, now in now now that the image has been downloaded and extracted now let's go on and um, uh, use the vnscp to to access the file system of your evng now my evng is running on 192.168.1.199 so i'll login 192.168.1.199 and username is root and password is eve which is the default hit enter now once i'm inside this i'll go to the uh, opt uh, in labs and on schema and inside here i need to paste the file which i just extracted uh with the folder okay so this is the naming um, um standard win w i n and hyphen and then anything so this is 7 and eighty x86 so i would just uh drag and drop the file here and uh once the uh file is being copied to the evng file system then i can start using this uh so with the help of editing i'm going to um uh, forward uh, fast forward this and till then you can enjoy the music
okay now that the uh, file has been copied to the file system of the evng uh, next what you need to do is you need to copy a command which is um i don't know it's mentioned here or not fix permission command um i don't think it's here i can go to any other and uh, how to section and and copy this command fix permission this one and copy it and go to the cli and login as root and eve and then go and paste it here yeah once this is done i will go to the uh, the web gui admin eve sign in and now if i right click node and go to the windows one here and now i should have a second folder it's been seven right and i will go and this is like how many nodes i want to add i want to add only one this is the name starts with the win and the number of cpus that i want to give this one is this much and say i will give it 8192 8 gigs of ram and one one ethernet i can also try uh, doing rdp using rdp but let's go for vnc and save it now i will have a network here um, a management cloud save it i'll connect it with the ethernet here save it i'll right click and wipe this for the first time um just in case um and then i'll start the node and after a few moments the node will turn blue and then i can double click so that the vnc opens up and i can see the progress on the booting of the windows now i can see the starting windows logo here and um, after some time i should see the windows logo appear the old windows 7 um, animated logo now because i have the dhcp running on my interface e0 and also there's a dhcp server on my lan so it should get an ip address from that port which is 192.168.1.0/24 so the password would be test123 uh, with the capital T basically yeah so that is how you can um, import and um, use the EVNG uh, I mean the Windows host inside EVNG now I have to wait for the host to get an, an IP address from the uh, oh, let me check uh, I can go to LAN details and I see it's not an IP address that I would see so I just go on and manually set an IP address 192.168.1.6559 oh, 192.168.1.15 or say 29 255 and 192.168.101 is my default gateway. DNS should be um 8.8.8.8.4.2.2.2 and that should work fine now. Once I click OK, it will apply the IP address on the interface. And yeah, home network. Yeah, I see the machine has now internal access. So if I just minimize this and try and ping um, an IP address on the internet, which is this one. Even if I open a browser and try the um, any, any web page like Google and all, so that should work. So if I go and try Google, um, and this should work. Yeah, that is working properly. It comes up with uh, some default applications installed, which will be handy to uh, work with the labs and all, right? And okay, that is um, uh, all for this video. Um, I hope you like the content of the video. I will paste the uh, links uh, and the commands in the description. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and share my channel as much as possible. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.